Hello, why are there not more people talking about Jolly Joseph? In the small town of Kudathai, Kerala lived Jolly Joseph, known for her kindness and grace. She was the perfect Indian wife and mother, full of devotion and faith. Her life seemed perfect, like an open book showing a happy existence. Jolly was a key figure in her community, admired for her dedication to her family and her faith. At the local church she led the choir with her beautiful voice, always present. She was warm and generous, always ready to help and offer kind words. Neighbors often came to her for advice, finding comfort in her wisdom and empathy. Her life seemed to perfectly show traditional values. But beneath this perfect exterior was a darkness that would soon shock the community. Unknown to those around her, Jolly had dark secrets that would destroy her carefully built image. The woman who seemed so virtuous would soon be accused of planning a series of murders over many years. The community's trust and faith would be shattered by her alleged crimes. It all started with a quiet investigation in the neighborhood, revealing a story of lies and betrayal. As the police found evidence, the true story of Jolly Joseph came to light, showing a chilling tale of planned murder. People first started to suspect something after Jolly's first husband, Roy Thomas, died suddenly. Roy was healthy, but in 2011, he died from what was said to be a heart attack. Jolly, his wife, seemed very sad. She cried a lot and looked heartbroken. The community supported her, offering their condolences and help. But soon, people started to whisper about foul play. Roy's family was suspicious and voiced their concerns. They noticed Jolly's cold behavior and her eagerness to inherit his property. However, most people still saw Jolly as a grieving widow and ignored the whispers. The suspicions came back stronger as more tragedies hit the family. One by one, Roy's family members died unexpectedly. Each death seemed suspicious and hinted at something sinister. The community, which had ignored the rumors before, started to question the family's bad luck. People began to wonder if Jolly was involved in these tragedies. The investigation into Roy's nephew's death in 2016 revealed a shocking truth. He was poisoned with cyanide and the police started looking at Jolly. They found out she had planned several murders. Each death was about greed and control. The police saw a pattern in her crimes. Each victim was in her way. Roy, her first husband, was an obstacle to her wealth. His family became her targets. Jolly didn't value human life. Her crime shocked the town of Kudathai. The case fascinated everyone. Jolly was called the cyanide killer. The community couldn't believe she was a killer. What made a normal-looking housewife do such terrible things? Was it greed, a desire for power, or something darker inside her? Jolly Joseph's case shows us how the mind can hide dark secrets, reminding us that looks can be deceiving. Some experts think Jolly's actions might come from a serious personality disorder, like antisocial personality disorder. People with this disorder often don't feel empathy or guilt and don't care about social rules. They can be charming and manipulative, fitting into society while hiding their true intentions. Others think Jolly wanted control and to escape her seemingly perfect life. Caught in her own lies, she might have taken extreme steps to control her story, removing anyone who threatened it. The truth is likely a mix of many psychological issues that led to a tragic end. Jolly's actions broke the hearts of many families, Roy's family felt deep pain and betrayal. They couldn't believe the woman they trusted hurt them. The whole community felt the sadness. People whispered and judged, breaking their trust. Families tried to move on from the pain. Jolly's kids had to face what she did. They couldn't believe their mom did this. The kids showed how far the hurt went. As the investigation went on, the police started to see the many lies Jolly had told over the years. It became clear that her life was built on lies and tricks. Her perfect life, her love for family and her religious devotion were all fake. The police found out that Jolly had faked her educational certificates to make herself look better. She had lied about her family background, making up stories of wealth and power to impress others. Her whole life was an act, a show to trick and control people. As her lies were uncovered, the full extent of her deceit became clear. She was very good at charming and fooling people. She knew how to create a false image of herself to get what she wanted. The investigation showed that she was smart and planned everything carefully to achieve her goals. As more evidence came out against Jolly, her fake persona started to show cracks. The calm, grieving widow act she had put on began to fall apart during questioning. Her behavior changed and she couldn't stay calm under the police's watchful eyes. The investigation showed a different side of Jolly, a side that got angry and frustrated easily. Her calm look turned into flashes of anger and defiance as the evidence piled up. The investigators, who were good at reading people, 
noticed everything she said and did, putting together the pieces of her alleged crimes. The change in her was shocking, showing the two sides of her nature. The woman who had tricked everyone around her could no longer keep up the act. The mask had slipped, showing glimpses of the dark side underneath. The investigators, seeing this change, knew they were dealing with someone capable of great deception and cruelty. The investigation into Jolly's alleged crimes revealed a complicated web of lies that went beyond the murders. Authorities found out that she had allegedly tricked many people over the years, using her charm and fake stories to gain their trust and then take their money. There were claims of fake documents, false loans, and clever plans to steal money from unsuspecting victims. Jolly, it seemed, was a predator who took advantage of kind and trusting people. Her alleged victims, often elderly or vulnerable, were left financially and emotionally hurt, their trust broken by someone they thought was a friend. These alleged financial crimes showed a woman driven by greed, who saw others as tools in her game of lies. Her alleged actions revealed the dark side of her personality, showing a ruthless person who would do anything to get money and control. Jolly Joseph's trial was a big event, grabbing the nation's attention and making people talk about good and evil. The prosecutors showed strong evidence, including cyanide poisoning, money problems, and stories from people Jolly had tricked. The defense tried to show Jolly as a victim, saying she was stuck in a bad marriage and being blamed by her husband's family. They said the prosecution's case was based on guesses and didn't have solid proof. The trial went on for months and was hard on everyone. The victims' families, who had to remember their pain, waited anxiously for justice. The public, both horrified and curious, followed the trial closely, wanting to see how it would end. In the world of criminal psychology, Jolly Joseph's case is a scary example of how an ordinary person can hide terrible secrets. Her story shows that looks can be deceiving, and the human mind is very complex. The court found Jolly Joseph guilty of several murders and gave her a life sentence. The verdict brought some peace to the victim's families, but it didn't explain why Jolly did what she did. The depth of her lies and the full extent of her crimes may always remain a mystery. Jolly Joseph's case is both fascinating and horrifying, reminding us that everyone has a dark side. It is a warning, telling us to look deeper, to question what we are told, and to realize that the truth can be scarier than fiction. Please like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more content. Let's go!